Assalamu alaikum dear students, I am Muhammad Rauf, lecturer department of zoology cast. Welcome to the course principle in animal life 2. This is lecture number 19. The topic is gene mapping. Discussing agenda for the topic is mapping the distance between genes using recombination data, constructing a linkage map. Lecture outcome. After watching and listening this lecture, students will know about the first and pioneering methodology used in gene mapping. So we uh, recall our previous lecture in which we studied the experiments of T.H. Morgan about linkage. He crossed uh, homozygous dominant flies with doubly mutant homozygous recessive flies uh, and then he crossed the F1 hybrids with homozygous recessive parent uh, he expected that there will be equal proportion of all the offsprings produced uh, and uh, he also assumed uh, that if the linkage is complete then only parental varieties will be produced and there will be no recombinants uh, but contrary to his prediction he obtained both parental varieties which resembled the parents and new allele combinations which were different from the parents uh, and they were called recombinants. This is another illustration which explains what actually happened at the chromosomal level this is the chromosome which carries the alleles uh, homologous pair this one is also a homologous pair so the f1 dihybrid will have each copy one copy from both parents but will exhibit the features of the dominant parent then then the chromosome duplication will takes place and after duplication the chromosomes will align with each other gene to gene end to end uh, and the exchange of segments takes place uh, you can see here the segments have been exchanged uh, no crossing over occurs here or if it occurs it doesn't result in any variability because the alleles are of the same type so all the sperms will be of the same type the eggs will be of four different types uh, but because the genes responsible for body color and wing shape wing size are located closer to each other so there will be more frequency of the parental phenotypes uh, however because some of the eggs do undergo the process of crossing over so new allele combination will also be reported uh, and how recombination frequency was calculated calculate the number of recombinants or having new allele combination and divide it with the total number of the offsprings and you will get 17 percent now this recombination frequency was used by one of the students of th morgan to determine the distance between two genes or gene mapping to locate the position of a gene on a chromosome the discovery of linked genes and recombination due to crossing over motivated one of Morgan's student Alfred H. Sturtevant to work out a method for constructing a genetic map. 
genetic map is an ordered list of the genetic loci along a particular chromosome means you have a chromosome so where the genes are located on the chromosome there you have a chromosome so on that chromosome this is suppose a gene for one trait and this is another gene for a different trait and this is yet another gene for a different trait so what is the distance between these genes how farther they are located from each other this is genetic mapping this is mapping of genes and it was done for the first time by one of the students of Morgan Elford H. Sturtevant using the data obtained from the experiments of his teacher. Sturtevant hypothesized that the percentage of recombinant offsprings, the recombinant frequency calculated from experiments like the one in figure 1 and 2 just you saw it depends on the distance between genes on a chromosome if the genes are located closer to each other then the recombination frequency will be lesser if the genes are farther apart from each other then the recombination frequency will be greater he assumed that crossing over is a random event with the chances of crossing over approximately equal at all points along a chromosome means there are equal probabilities that any portion of the two homologous chromosomes can be exchanged Based on these assumptions, 31 predicted that the farther apart two genes are, the higher the probability that a crossover will occur between them and therefore higher the recombination frequency. His reasoning was simple. The greater the distance between two genes, the more points there are between them where crossover can occur. Using recombination data from various fruit fly crosses, Sturtevant proceeded to assign relative positions to genes on the same chromosome, that is, to map genes. So he used the recombination data from various tests uh, performed various crosses performed by him and he was in a position to assign specific location to genes on the chromosome and the distance between the genes a genetic map based on recombination frequencies is called a linkage map Now here we will study an example where Sturtevant considered three genes uh, that are responsible for determining different characters. Uh, Cinnabar is one of many Drosophila genes affecting eye color, means the gene for the eye color resides on the X chromosome and the red is dominant over white uh, but uh, this cinnabar is another gene which affects uh, the concentration in brightness uh, in the brightness means uh, if this gene is effective then the eye color will be brighter red uh, than the wild type color the recombination frequency between cinnabar and 
the gene determining body color is 9% so means these two genes are located closer to each other they are linked closely to each other therefore their recombination frequency is 9% these two genes are located a bit farther from each other and these two genes are the ones with greater recombination frequency and uh, they are located far apart from each other so in other words crossover between cn and body color and between cinnabar and wing uh, determining allele are about half as frequent as crossover between the gene responsible for body color and the gene responsible for wing size so you can see here this value recombination frequency shows uh, if the distance between the two alleles is greater then it will have greater value if the distance is lesser then this will have a small value so its value basically shows the extent of linkage between the genes uh, so the recombination frequency is nine percent so there is a greater extent of linkage between these two here 9.5 percent and here 17 percent means these two genes are located a bit farther from each other therefore non-parental phenotypes were reported which resulted in increase in recombination frequency sturdy want expressed the distance between genes in map units defining one map unit as equivalent to one percent recombination frequency so what was the unit used uh, to define the distance between two genes uh, he used the unit centimorgan so one percent recombination frequency if reported between two genes was equivalent to one centimorgan he uh, used the word morgan to give a tribute to his supervisor or teacher some genes on a chromosome are so far from each other that a crossover between them is virtually certain the wider the two genes are apart from each other the greater the chances of them being separated by a crossover event so here these three genes were studied this determines the body color it determines the brightness of red color and it determines the wing shape these two genes are located closer to each other and they have 9.5 percent recombination frequency these two genes have 9 percent recombination frequency whereas this one and this one are located far apart from each other and they have 17 percent recombination frequency so means in that case more recombinants will be produced uh, and there will be higher percentage of recombination frequency and lesser extent of linkage uh, if there is linkage so linkage is inversely proportional to the value of recombination frequency the greater the value of recombination frequency the lesser the linkage 
this is the complete experiment which he performed the observed frequency of recombination in crosses involving two genes can have a maximum value of 50 percent means it is the maximum value of recombination frequency and uh, when the recombination when the 50 percent individuals are recombinants and 50 percent are parental phenotype then we say that crossing over has occurred and the genes have segregated independently there is independent assortment present in this case the physical connection between genes on the same chromosome is not reflected in the result of genetic crosses because the distance between the genes is too much so they will be separated from each other in a crossover event uh, despite being on the same chromosome and thus being physically connected the genes are genetically unlinked uh, because they are wide apart from each other alleles of such genes assort independently as if they were on different chromosomes in fact at least two of the genes for p character that mendel studied are now known to be on the same chromosome means same chromosome means they are located closer to each other and inherited together but the distance between them is so great that linkage is not observed in genetic crosses Consequently, the two genes behaved as if they were on different chromosomes in Mendel's experiments. So, using recombination data, Sturtevant and his colleagues were able to map numerous Drosophila genes in linear arrays they found that the genes clustered in four groups of linked genes so he performed uh, various crosses in which he was able to identify the number of recombinants and thus he calculated the recombinant frequency and the percentage of recombinant frequency is equivalent to Santi Morgan so in this way he was able to uh, locate or assign positions to genes on chromosomes nowadays because of advancement in technology DNA sequencing is used uh, which can even calculate the distance between two genes in terms of nucleotides that these two genes are 10,000 nucleotides apart from each other but still I think Sturtevant deserves a lot of credit because he performed a technique uh, he developed a technique uh, to locate genes 110 years back uh, so it was uh, an appreciable effort from sturdy want thank you very much that was the end of the lecture Allah Hafiz